Namaskar. This is Dr. Kotani from ESS Academy. Friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel. So, friend, today we are going to discuss the rank correlation here. Though the theoretical part we have discussed in the previous lectures. Okay, so then today we are going to discuss the numerical part. Okay. So, this, uh, this rank correlation was first coined by Charles Edward Pearson in the year 1904. So, he was the British psychologist and born in 1863 in London and has a great contribution in the field of psychology and in his, in his, in his study uh, in the year 1904 on a topic general intelligence objectively determined and measured so he theorized that a general factor of intelligence that is G is present in varying degree in different human abilities okay so in his research, he found that uh, one who per, uh, performed well on one mental ability is tended to perform well on others as well, okay, and vice versa. So after his finding on his research paper, this statistical tool was widely used worldwide, and this is very very prominent tool while measuring the relationship between two categorical variables okay and uh, this measures the strength and direction of monotonic relationship between two categorical variables or two rank variables okay so monotonic here means when one variable increases the other variable also increases or decreases but not in the same rate okay so now we will start a new question here that is the very first methods inside of spirit net rank correlation that we discussed in our previous lecture on theoretical portion of correlation in continuous series as well as in grouped data or categorical data so the first type was when ranks are given okay so today we have a question where the ranks are given okay so let us say this is a, a, a question on a poster making competition okay where we have eight participants say a to h okay and they have submitted their posters to the judges and judges are just giving uh, them the ranks on the basis of their performance okay so these are the one to h and these are the ranks given by judge one and these are the ranks given by judge two okay so here we have the ranks different ranks right now we have to calculate the spearman's rank correlation okay so let's start so what we need for getting the answer or correlation under the spearman method okay we need d okay so in a formula if you talk about the formula of spearman rank correlation it is R, this is due to a capital R, okay, capital R or rank correlation is 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n bracket start n square minus 1, okay, or we can also write it as 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n cube minus n okay so this is the formula of solving the spearman's rank correlation when ranks are given or ranks are not repeated okay ranks given and not repeated so this formula will be used okay so now as per formula what we need we need d square here Okay, what we need? We need d square. So friend, before getting d square, we will have to get d. So d is nothing, it is just the difference between rank 1 and rank 2. R1 minus R2. Okay, so 4 minus 7, this gives you minus 3. 2 minus 5, this gives you minus 3 again. 5 minus 2, this gives you minus 3. 8 minus 3, this gives you 5. 3 minus 4 minus 1, 1 minus 6 minus 5, 
6 minus 1, 5, 7 minus 8, minus 1, right? Next, what we need? We need the square of this d, that is the d square, right? So, the square value of 3 is 9, 9, 9, 5 into 5, that is 25, 1, 25, 25, and 1, okay? So, now we have all d square values here. So, what we need? That's the formula. We need sigma d square means summation of all these d squares okay so if we get the summation of the d square we get what do you get we get total 104 104 the summation of d square becomes 104 okay now put this value in formula we get r equal to 1 minus 6 times 104 upon n r h we have n h 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and equal to 8 we have 8 pairs right 8 times 8 square minus 1 okay that is 1 minus 624 by 8 is just 64 minus 1 63, 63 into 8, uh, 63 into 8 is 8, 3 is 24, 8, 6 is 48, plus 2, 5, 0, 4, okay, so this is 5, 0, 4, right, so now 1 minus, this gives you 1 point, 1 point, Two three eight, two three eight, right. So our correlation value becomes minus zero point two three eight. Okay. So this is our answer by Spearman's frame correlation. Okay. So this is very low degree of correlation or low degree of low degree negative correlation between the ranks. Or judgments of two judges. So we can conclude that two judges are not agree for their judgments. Okay, so there is a low degree of disagreement. There is a disagreement, means there is a negative correlation. Okay, so there is a disagreement between two judges, but this disagreement is quite low. So low degree disagreement between just one and just two or just their ranks given to the poster computers or poster makers, right? So friend, this was the method to calculate the experiments and correlation, okay, under first condition when we are given the ranks and these ranks are not repeated, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day ahead. God bless you.